Mayday, mayday, mayday. We have f***ing crashed. Well, playing this kind of games is hard with keyboard. What, you think I'm joking? Try to fly a tricolor light and you'll crash and die. What the f*** are you saying? I mean, not in here obviously. This is simulator. Mine is a joystick. And fortunately I found one in the storeroom. But on the same time, unfortunately, it was 10 to 15 years old. And it has game port connector in it. And you know, game port connectors are pretty common in older generation computers. But nowadays, there is no such port in the motherboard. Because these things have converted themselves into USB. Now you can find USB game controllers everywhere. And that was analog. It was a bulky connector. And nowadays, USB is awesome. I opened the joystick out and, well, hoped to see some fancy components in it. But found out, well, three potentiometers for three axes. Two for X and Y and another for Z, which is rotation. Actually, this joystick is made for flight, so it has that third axis, which is basically used as a throttle, it's thrust levers, and there are also a couple of buttons in the top. There are four buttons in the top, and <clears throat> for the controller, there is nothing, just a comparator. I don't know. You know, analyzing analog circuits are quite difficult, so I didn't try to do that. Okay. After seeing those potentiometers, I had an idea that I could maybe control those using my Arduino because you know you can read potentiometer values with Arduino it's very simple I designed a code and yes I can read those values in my serial monitor and pressing buttons are also easy you have to just attach a pull down register to ground and basically what you are doing while you are pressing a button you are basically shorting two contacts and one contact will be connected to one of the digital pins of your Arduino and another contact will be connected to ground through a pull down register to limit the current basically otherwise your Arduino will die so all these things I can control with my Arduino but the problem is that the Arduino is recognized as a serial device in your computer and you know input devices like keyboard mouse or Game controllers are HID compliant devices, but the Arduino is detected as a serial device. I couldn't figure out how to use my Arduino as a HID compliant device. After researching a little bit, I found this amazing project. It's UnoJoy. Well, fancy name, isn't it? So in this UnoJoy, what we basically do, that's an awesome project and through which you can convert your Arduino into a joystick. Well, now you may ask how they are doing that. Arduino, a serial device, nothing to that Mega 328P. How can you use it as a HID compliant device? What? Really, bro? It's too much noise pollution here. Now you may ask how can you use our Arduino, which is a serial device, as a HID compliant device? HID compliant input device. What is the full form of HID? It's human interface device. Really? So what we will be doing is, you know, while programming the Arduino and uploading the codes in it and how it basically works is basically that little, I mean not little, is the main core of the Arduino is the Atmega 328P for at Arduino Uno or Nano and Mega it's different, it's maybe 2680P. So basically it's a IC in which we basically upload the code but in here to use it as a HID compliant device, we will be coding the USB to serial chip in the Arduino. Fancy, isn't it? So I downloaded all of their files from GitHub. I'll put all the links in the description below. You can check that out. It's awesome. And and they have provided a readme file which you can read to understand what is basically going on. And you can see there are two batch files. One is turned into a joystick and another is turned into an Arduino. So basically when you are using your Arduino as an Arduino, you cannot use it as a joystick. And when you are using your Arduino as a joystick, you cannot use it as your Arduino. So basically, makes sense, isn't it? What you have to do is install those drivers. One is Amtel Flip. You have to install a couple of drivers 
and after that you have to click on turn into a joystick but before that you have to short two pins on your Arduino so that that little chip goes into programming mode because basically we do not program that chip we only upload our codes to our Atmega 328p so we are not worried about what they are doing the little ICs are doing they are basically always configured as a serial IC and that's why Arduino is detected as a serial device okay so when we will be programming that IC we need to short those two pins to make the Arduino go into that programming mode so after you do that you have to click on turn into a joystick and you know if you haven't installed the drivers properly you may get some errors but do not panic it will not kill your Arduino just install the drivers carefully according to your system and then click on that or turn into a joystick and see it's done it's saying to unplug and reinsert the Arduino again so after you do that BAM now you can see you have a HID compliant joystick in your device manager and you can also see in the add hardware option you have a Uno Joy joystick there we go now at first I tried to program the code myself but felt terribly because there is a lot of jittering around so I used the provided sketch and modified it a little bit according to my need and a little bit calibration is also required to you know it's a lot of calibration required to configure a joystick so you can do it by yourself if you have a little bit knowledge about coding I am not going into detail in this because it will make this video large as sh and nobody will watch it let me know in the comments below if you need the code I can discuss it in the part 2 of this video and after that see I configured it as a joystick and my buttons also work pretty well and the axis works the buttons work it's awesome we have to de design a kind of shield to place on top of the Arduino so that every time we plug it in it do not have to worry about loose connections so I made a shield and soldered all the wires in it and it's kind of looking cool isn't it now you have to plug it in again while you are uploading the code basically you have to convert it into a Arduino then again after you, your coding is finished your calibration is finished you have to again configure it as your joystick using that, that two magical batch files and basically you are done see it kinda works it doesn't it works like a charm Roger that, we are ready for takeoff. Just a minute, check please. V1, rotate V2, positive. Yeah, please. So, hope you guys like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, thumbs down for the opposite. And if you haven't subscribed yet, click on the subscribe button and hit the notification bell icon to get notified about my latest uploads. This is Malari, you are watching our syllabus, and I am signing off.